Hey guys, it's me, Nikki again. This time with no makeup. Ooh. And um, I like this because I am going to do my makeup. I did say that I would do a video for this. I have a weird accent today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how I do my makeup. Um, I'm not a makeup artist, so I'm very super cash today, no bra, no nothing. Um, I'm not a makeup artist, so like if there are makeup artists out there who are like, you're doing it wrong. I probably am. Um, but this is how I do my makeup. If it helps some people out there, then cool. Uh, my friend Brandon, you said you wanted to see. Hi. Um, and for anyone else, I hope it helps. Um, Okay, let's begin. It might be a long video. I'll try. I might do it like really rushed just to get through it quickly. But let's see how it goes. Okay, so basically, be how I start, luckily my skin's relatively good. I mean, I've had a bit of a stressful month, so I've got a few little things and stuff, so I don't really worry about that. Um, unfortunately, I still have to shave, so I still have a bit of a beard. Um, so I color correct that. So I start off with just a, just a red lipstick. Red. It's quite brightly red. 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 So what I'll do with this is I'll put it on, on my beard area where underneath the foundation would come up blue. So the red kind of counteracts the blue and it um, kind of hides it. So I kind of put it on so that it hides the shadow so it kind of looks like a sunburn sometimes I get it really right sometimes I don't but you'll get the idea I guess because I really I use a really really thin foundation um, that after like an hour of regrowth in my beard it normally comes through so this is how I hide it um, it's just how it happens so that's what I look like like, like a vampire. Okay, so that's what I do with that. Then I have a concealer, which is a bedhead dream concealer. I don't know if you can see that, but it's almost finished. I need to get more. Okay, and I use my fingers. Not everyone likes to use their fingers. My fingers are clean though. I trust them. Um, just brushes normally absorb a lot of product. Check with my fiance to make sure she's nodding. So that's right. So you. Yeah, so using your fingers helps save product and it gives a more natural look, apparently. So what I'll do is I just put the foundation over, I mean the concealer over where I've put the red, just so that it covers that. Like this for me, this concealer is way too thick for all my face. Um, I don't like to have like too much of a thick makeup. I'm, I, 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 like it's fun to get really overdone and things at times but just generally I just want to look like every other girl so I don't want to be like crazy overdone dramatic makeup I think it's it's very much good to do the makeup for what you're doing you know if you're going to the shops you don't have to have like a flick and a smoky eye and a you know you could just be natural. So I aim for a natural s look. Okay, so concealer. See, so you can already see the beard's kind of gone. Um, then I use a MAC Mineralize, which won't focus on that, I don't think. Hold on. There you go, MAC Mineralize. Back on me. So I use this, it's very, very thin. It's got a, it's a, got a moisturizer and stuff in it as well. So that's what I use. It's very, very runny. You'll see, like, it's it's very runny. But I like it. It's thin. Okay, so I generally start on my nose. Use a different finger from the lipstick and stuff, otherwise you're going to have red all over your face. Again, there's probably makeup artists out there cringing at how I do this, but, you know, if you want to come do my makeup for free, you can. Otherwise, don't comment. Plus, I have a fiance that can do it, so no. 
Okay, so I just basically spread it nice and thinly all over. I think for me, this is the most important part. Just to make sure that I get a good even spread, that there's no like funny finger lines or creases. Sorry, my hair is in the way. It's been a rough day and it's like 400 million degrees here. So I don't look as fresh as I normally do. But I am determined to put out videos. Okay, yeah, I am Jewish, so I don't like to waste stuff. Well, my dad's Jewish. I have Jewish blood. It's in me. For all those people out there who are going to be like, that's stereotypical, it's a joke. You know, there's people that are get offended by everything. That was just a joke. Okay, super, super quick. Super messy, not normally how I do it, but you guys get the idea. Again, I'm not... Okay, now you're going to see, I'm lighting myself with fluorescent tubes. Unfortunately, this foundation has an SPF in it, you know, to protect you from the sun and things. But because of that, it reflects, so I come out looking very white. Uh, so. I wouldn't use this foundation for a photo shoot or anything like that, purely for the fact that when flashes go off you come out a lot whiter than you actually look. Okay, make sure you take it down on the neck a little bit just to hide a little bit of red. Okay, that's kind of how I did. Okay, and this this um, foundation is very very shiny, which I kind of like. It gives you like a natural glow. Um, so that's foundation. Okay, so that's kind of how I've done it. I've kind of covered most of the places, I think. Um, if you've like got little wrinkles out of, you can just dab it in. So you can just take excess and just dab it to get into the things. I'm not too focused about getting it on my lips. Okay, then from this because this is still quite liquidy and it's still kind of rubby offy that's that's the professional terminology rubby offy I use a translucent powder okay um, unfortunately mine's been decanted into a thing but any translucent powders okay you know translucent powders translucent powder it all pretty much does the same job so again there'll be people out there who'll be like no this one is better I put some on a brush and then I just kind of brush it over just to and you, you'll feel like once the brush gets a bit matte like sticky it's kind of come off and then you just got to brush a bit more and basically what this is going to do is take away the shine so it's going to mattify me which I like some people like the shine I don't like to look like I'm sweaty all the time So there you go. So that kind of just mattifies everything and makes me look matte. So that just gives me a nice finished skin. Like you can now you can see there's still let me I take. So that's better. So you can see that I've still got like you can still see the colour of my nose and you can still see the blemishes. So it's not like overly done. It's just just gives me a nice, more even complexion. I think. I don't know. <laughs> Apparently you guys like my makeup on my videos. This is how I do it. Okay, so that's what I do. So now like my foundation is done. My, 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 my base coat is there. Okay. Um, then what I do is I do my eyes. That's kind of how it goes. Okay, so like for today, I'm going to start with a bronze. Oops. So I have a MAC bronze. Mac bronze. Don't focus there. Bronze. Anyway, I don't know if that worked. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to use that to go into the crease of my eye and stuff, and just to define my eyes. So I am going to use a this brush. Should I highlight underneath my eye? No, I'll do that. Okay. So Mac bronze, and I'm using a Mac 
219 brush. So it looks like that. If you can see what that looks like. There you go. That's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm using. Okay, so from there, I'm just going to close my eye. I'm going to follow the crease in my eye because I've unfortunately got these little bag things that hang over my eye. And you can all see me. Okay, again, I'm doing this very messy. But I'm just using just something darker just to define my eye. I, I generally use this bronze quite a lot. like a natural smoky eye kind of feel okay so that's kind of what it looks like just a little bit of a definition okay I'll blend it in just now do the other eye I think this is where makeup artists will kill me because they'll probably do one eye and then do the other one but and I think I normally do that I did I don't know my Routine changes quite a lot. I think it's like everything. Everybody has their own way of doing it. Everybody thinks their way is right. Okay. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, but it's, it's like not blended at all. So then I take, I've got a really cheapy, El Cheapo, cheap cheap brush. It's a signature brush. It's, it actually has no thing, but it's a bit of a tapered edge like that. Focus. Okay, there you go. So it looks like that. Okay. So this one is quite soft, which is quite nice. So with that, I'm just going to go back in there and just blend that out a bit. Okay. I only learned this the other day, but if a brush is nice and soft, it blends better. Apparently. The advantages of having a makeup artist on call. Babe! No. Don't you want to make me coffee? Okay. See? <laughs> that never happens. That never happens. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so yeah, so back to the video, back to business. Okay, and like I said, I'm literally doing this. This isn't like crazy going out, major flick kind of makeup. This is kind of what I'd do if I was going out for a day. If I was just going out to go for coffee or something like that. Just very light, very natural, very not overly dark on the eyes just pretty enough to make them pop okay from there my next favorite colors are wood wings from mac will it focus there you go okay so wood wing from mac i love this color it's really cool blurry okay let's make it lighter darker lighter okay okay there you go Okay, so we're doing from Mac. So now I'm gonna take an. I think it's called an application brush. Oh, my Mac one's dirty. I'm bad. I gotta wash my brushes. But it's similar to the other one, but just more of a taper. If you can see there. There. See? Just more of a taper, but a little bit smaller than the other one. Okay. Okay. So I just dab that on there, and then I'm just gonna dab it on my bottom lid, just like that. Okay, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but it just gives a nice little highlight under the eye. Okay, and on this side. Okay, now if I was doing a more like intense eye, I would have come underneath here with the thing and everything like that, but again, I don't when I go overboard. Um, if you guys want me to do it like a proper night one, I will. And by I, I mean I'll get my fiance to do it. Um, but yeah, so, so I think that's quite nice. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, I think it's quite pretty. Okay, so it's nice and simple, quite nice and blended. Okay, from there, 
I'm going to highlight just underneath my eyebrows. So I'm using Inglot. Um, it's an Inglot palette. I think it's one of these DIY thingamajobbies and I'm going to use that as my highlighter. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if that helps. I don't know if you can go into a shop and be like, hi, I'd like that. But... Apparently I've got to take it out to get to a color, wait, wait, but wait, wait, I can't do that. My fiance is going to do it. Okay, but, so with this highlighter, okay, I'm just going to go under my eyebrows here. Okay, this brush is a little bit dirty. Yeah. Now you didn't see that, but the magic is gone. It's disappeared. Okay, so yeah, so I just highlight under there. Obviously you want to use a clean brush. Mine is not that clean, so I've got a bit of other colors coming out there. But that just helps define the eyebrows. I get a lot of comments about my eyebrows. That's how I do it. Okay, so I'm done with that one anyway. Okay, my fiance is going to find out what color it is so that she can tell you. Okay, so so far I've used bronze from MAC, I've used woodwind from MAC, and I've used mystery, mystery number from Inglot, which we'll get back to. Okay, then for my eyebrows, I got everything ready, so I thought, aha, this I love. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing. This is brow something from Signature, uh, yes. from... It's Brow Yings from Benefit. Okay, so the ink lot number is 397. So that's that number there, 397. So that's the one I use for my eyeshadow number 397. It's what I use for my highlighter. It's really cool. Okay, and then back to Benefit. That's what I use for Benefit. So it comes a little thing like that. There's a mirror. You can see the camera I'm using. There's me with a mirror, with a mirror of a mirror. Anyway, okay, so that's what I use. So then I use an angle brush, which is just another random brush. I have got MAC brushes and things, but I found that some of the really cool brushes are these no-name things. Okay, so it's an angle brush, so it looks like that. Ta-da! I'm so glad when things work out. Okay, and then I'm not, I don't normally do use both. I just go with the lighter brown. I want hectic eyebrows and I use both. Okay, and then I just kind of brush from the bottom, follow the bottom line along, and then brush up slightly and follow the eyebrow. I'm not definitely not a pro at this by any means. And then I kind of brush, I brush just a little past where the hair ends because I'm crazy like that. I like to break the rules like that. Okay, I always make sure I don't have too much product on my brush because then you get like excessive shape. Okay, I think that like even that's quite cool. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see the difference. It is quite dark, it is quite harsh, but um, I like it. Thank you. Okay, so now I'll just do the same thing on that other eye. I just follow along the bottom and brush it up. Make sure it's nice and even. Draw the eyebrow, try not to. Uh, so, like, my, I've realized that my whole childhood career of learning how to draw inside the lines was to learn how to do eyebrows. Essentially. Because the moment you go outside the lines, you're screwed. Okay, there you go. Those are my eyebrows. They look pretty cool. I like them. A little bit darker on this side. But they work. You know, you can always take a mascara wand or whatever and just brush them out a little bit. But I don't mind the dark. I've got really dark features. So I think dark eyebrows look kind of cool. But that's just me. Oh yeah, and that's pretty much all I do for my eyes. Um, oh no, I don't know why I have so much left to do. Okay, then I do have a pot liner by MAC. Yeah, pot liner that I use for my eyeliner. But I only use this when I'm going out. Because it's really, really dark and really, really strong. So I'm not going to do that today. Also because it normally takes me three or four tries to get right. And this video is already taking 20 minutes. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is take my angle brush, very thin brush. This is a MAC 208, 
brush. It's a little angle brush. So if you compare it to the other angle brush I use for my eyebrows, there's a difference. You can see. Okay. So all I'm going to use for that now is I'm going to use a MAC Black eyeshadow. I'm just put it on. How I do my eyes, I kind of grab at the corner here and pull them out to the side. Just get inside the waterline there. Right in there by the tear ducts, then start in the middle. Work my way in. Okay, this MAC doesn't spread very easily, so it just takes a couple attempts. Yeah. And just because of my eye shape, I've been told just a bit of at the bottom there. And that looks quite pretty, I think. Yeah, just don't poke yourself in the eye, especially when your brush is dried out, because that tends to be a little sore. As you can see, I do each eye differently. I've been told quite often now that your eyebrows and your eyes are not identical twins, they're sisters. So they don't need to be identical. There you go. That's kind of how I do it. My eyes are a little bit watery because, as I said, don't poke yourself in the eye. Guess what I did? I poke myself in the eye. So, yeah. So that's all I do, really do for my, for my um, liner. If I use a pot liner, I do the exact same thing. Then I go over it with a MAC, with a black um, eyeshadow, just to kind of like solidify and soften it out a bit. So that's essentially the same thing. Then, for mascara, I'm using MAC False Lashes Waterproof. And um, that is cool, and then the benefits, they're real, are also awesome. Even my fiance is like, hmm. So, okay. I know there are different ways of doing this. My fiance normally goes down first and then up. I like to go up first and down. And just using the tip of the brush, getting the bottom lashes. I do have quite stubborn lashes and I have very stubborn hair that always, my hair will always be tied up perfectly until I do my lashes. Then they get involved. I'm sorry, this, ah, and then that happens. Okay, if you get mascara on your face, apparently I've been told, wait for it to dry and then take it off. With an earbud. With an earbud. My coach giving me tips. Earbuds. Hmm? Um, yes, please. Because obviously you try to take it off immediately and then it smudges and then that happens. So just give it a second to dry and then just take the earbud and then you can pick it off. It's the easiest way, it's less messy. It's gonna happen. It happens to me all the time. Yay, earbuds! I'm a geek. Okay. So cute. So you can just, you know. There you go. Cling. Done. And I didn't get this black mark through my face because I tried to take it off. Okay. So it's basically my eyes done, eyebrows done, foundation done. I do contour, but not a lot. So sorry. I thought I had everything ready. There you go. And I do use a, I do, do use blush. Um, Mac Mineralize. I use. Give me sun, apparently. Um, so when I contour, I generally use a blush brush. This is a Ruby Box blush brush. That's the one that I like to use. Excuse me. Okay, so I I make sure that there's quite a bit of product on, and then I give it a tap off and I rub it on my hand, just so it's not too much. And then I go just under my my jawline. I don't go too far down. There are the different schools. I know that 
I've been told that America likes to go quite far down. I like to keep mine just up to my cheek. That's kind of where it goes. Had a bit much, too much product on the thing, so I'm just going to blend it out a bit. So, so you can see it's just there. Luckily, it actually works perfectly for this because of the foundation, I come out very white, and this obviously comes out quite brown. So that's kind of all I do, just there. Okay, so I'll do it on this side as well. Make sure it's even for you guys. Okay. From there you can go onto the temple on forehead. You can go there. Okay, I don't really do this because I generally keep, keep put my hair down. Okay, so you can go there. I do go on my jaw a little bit. Just to soften my jaw. Okay, so any like drag makeup and stuff, you kind of know that it's a similar thing, but I don't use foundation to do it. I use bronzer purely for the fact that foundation is really expensive and it's quite harsh during the day. You know, so it's okay to do that and then just you can actually just blend it out with your hands a bit. Um, I just, yeah, for me, it, this is a little bit more subdued than harsh foundations coming in and cutting, you know. But if you want to change your face quite drastically, you can do it with foundation. I can do a video on that if you'd like, but again, I'd probably get my fiance to do that. Okay, I'm not done with that though. I do contour my nose. I have quite a horrible nose, as I asked. Okay, so I use a different brush for this. I use an El Cheapo, another big tapered one, but it's a big tapered one and it's very firm. It's quite hard. Okay, so and I do that, just take it on the edges, not too much. And I don't contour all the way down my nose, I contour just about halfway. Just to about there. Just make sure it's blended out, take it down a bit. There, yeah, take it down a bit. Okay. Yeah, and then just on the tip. So that does, just just kind of refines everything a little bit, not too much, I probably blend it in a bit better than that normally, but I like that. Okay, so that's pretty much it, and then lastly, I have an Inklot brush palette, um, blush palette, so I will take my signature, another El Cheapo, just a normal brush, and I generally go for a more plain pink, I don't like Unless I'm going out at night or something, so I normally go for this one. Just brush it on, comes off quite quickly. So just shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, and then just above where I put my my bronzer, blend it in. Okay, you can see it's quite there. It's quite strong, quite prominent. If you do this, you don't even have to do this. You could stop at the last. I was saying that sometimes it's just that old mentality of rosy cheeks symbolize health. So, yeah, that's pretty. A bit more on that side than on that side. There you go. A bit of fall off. And that's pretty much how I do my makeup. Let's just turn it down a bit. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, I don't normally do lips, um, especially if I've done an eye. I've learned that if you do an eye and lips, it can be a bit much. Um, 